I'm Anil Kumar and we'll now explore the surface area of a cube when it is cut in two different pieces. The question here is, a cube with side length of 10 cm is cut in half. Determine possible total surface area of two halves. So let us try to understand this question. So what we have really is a cube which is having side lengths of 10 centimeters each. So let me just sketch one here. So that is the cube and it has 10 centimeters side length. Now if I cut it, let us say from here, cut it open like this, then what happens? In that case I get two rectangular prisms. So I get two rectangular prisms. So one is kind of like this. And another also exactly similar, correct? So let me just draw it on the side. So we have two rectangular prisms here. So let me just draw it fast. Okay, so we have two different rectangular prisms, right? So for easy calculations, we'll assume that these sides are five each, but that, that length, those are 10, right? So this is five and 10, correct? But initially we had 10, 10, and 10. Now we need to figure out that what is the total surface area of the two halves, right? So that is the question. Initially we know that all the surfaces have same area. So to start with, uh, the area is 10 times 10. So we have six times the area of each surface. Six times uh, 10 times 10 is the, is the area of in starting with, so which is 600 centimeter square right that is for the first one now when you cut it open what do we get we get two with exactly same areas so let us calculate the surface area of the smaller piece so we will now calculate surface area of smaller rectangular prism okay so for the smaller rectangular prism now its front is 10 times 5 so so we'll say front is 10 times 5 and the side or we can say uh, side length is 10 times 10 right so side is 10 times 10 and the top and bottom will be 5 times 10, right? So 5 times 10. So we have two of each kind. So, so we can multiply by 2 and add these up. So that is how we find uh, the surface area of the smaller piece. So that is 2 times 50 plus 100 plus 50, right? So that is 2 times uh, 200. And that gives you a value of 400, right? So since we have two of these, so this is this is 400 centimeters square, and this is also 400 centimeters square, since both are exactly same. So we get the total of two halves is 400 plus 400, that is 800 centimeters square. Now you can see it is much more than the starting one, correct? So initially we had just 600 centimeters square of surface area. Now we have 800 square centimeters squares. Can you tell me why? Well, as you can see, the reason is apparent. As we cut it open, that surface area has increased. Do you see that? This surface area now has increased but otherwise it has the same area, correct? So we have combined these two and on the sides, but that area has increased. So it, it has increased by 10 times 10 it is on both the sides. So it is on this side also. So what we really find here is that there are two surfaces with 100, 100 increase. So that and the one which you don't see here. So that is 100 plus 100. So that is the increase in surface area in our case and therefore we find an increase by 
200. Do you see that? So that is how you can justify your answer. That when you cut open, you expose to more surfaces and their area combined is 100 plus 100. And therefore, the area increases by 200 and you get surface area of 800 centimeter square in this particular case. Now, for some of the students, here is a bonus question and that is, instead of cutting it from the center as we did, if we cut it diagonally, in that case, what is going to be the combined surface area of two equal halves? I hope that challenging question will be interesting. Thank you and all the best.